Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we'll be reviewing the Speedball Calligraphy Ink Palette Kit. It carries 10 inks in a cute little palette. I reached out to Speedball Art and they were very generous enough to supply me with this set here for review. This video is not being sponsored or it's not, it's not being paid in any other way. These inks are available in sets of 10, 5, or can be bought open stock. This set comes with a variety of colors along with the gold and silver, which I am very excited about. I've never tried metallic inks or a, pro a metallic product before, so it's something I'm definitely looking forward to. Alright, on to the swatching. So when you first open up your bottle, there will be a white covering over it, so just take that off. Make sure you shake it up good so that you'll get the right color. So now I'm going to go in with some swatches. So this set comes with a white, super black, silver, gold, scarlet red, burnt umber, deep purple, indigo blue, teal green, and an emerald green. To my delight, these inks are definitely highly pigmented just like it states, which is really nice and you can get really bold strokes in for both a dip pen and a brush. I'll be swatching them with a brush and I'm going to be doing a solid color and then also with a little bit of water and seeing how it reacts to it. So these inks are described to be non-toxic, acid-free, water-resistant, not waterproof, and archival quality. I'll be doing a dip pen test as well as these are meant for dip pens as they are calligraphy inks. I will also be swatching the white and the metallic colors on a black piece of paper just to see how it looks. And it definitely are very shiny. It's hard to see on the camera but even on the white paper they're both very shiny. Oh, another reason why I had to swatch the gold twice was because I had to really shake it so that it could actually be activated or else the glitter wasn't reaching it. So here I'm going with the dip pen. I tried using the deep purple with my speedball dip pen. Here I'm going in with the super black just to see how the ink flows and just by these little swatches I can tell that these inks work really well with dip pens. I know they're meant for it but it's always nice to double check and see the quality of a product. Alright, so now we're going to be going into the field test slash demo part of the video. I will be using Canson XL Mixed Media Paper for my illustration. So after playing around with the product a little bit, I can definitely say I enjoyed it very much. It was really interesting to see how the medium worked as I have not used ink in such a long time and the only inks I've ever used were black and white and most of them were for, for fountain pens and so it was nice to see how they are with depends and what kind of variety of products this medium carries. They're very easy to work with. They're very easy to move around. They work very well with water. I know I'm not using watercolor paper, but they work really well. You can dilute it a lot. Like in this piece, I tried to push both boundaries. I wanted to see just how much I can dilute it and also just how much I can how much bold strokes I can get and I definitely can say I'm very satisfied with the results. I also know I really want to play with the gold. The silver is really pretty too but I really really want to play with the gold. <laughs> So 
now the ink part of this illustration begins. This is just a little simple one. I just came up with a cute concept. So I knew I wanted to go with a, a more cooler color palette and so I can really make the gold pop. And that's why I used a lot of purples and blues and I think it was really nice how they worked well together. For this illustration, I just wanted to do something kind of simple and kind of symbolic if that makes sense. I wanted to make it like to catch that fleeting moment of kind of like freedom or something. I know it sounds kind of different from my character illustrations and such, but I really do want to create more meaningful artwork. And I think this is one of them, like a test run for that. And I'm definitely pleased with how it turned out. Another pro is that um, you won't have to use very much ink if you are going to be doing it in this sort of style, like this watery color style. Maybe you might have to if you're using it primary for calligraphy, but I'm sure it will still last really long because there's actually a lot of ink in small bottle. I noticed that this set did not come with the yellow and I think this would be due to the fact that yellow might not be used as much in calligraphy probably because it's hard to see especially on white paper. Maybe if you're using black paper you might see it but I think the um, set replaced the yellow with the gold because they're more more noticeable and more shimmery but yeah that's, that's sort of like what I thought of it because I did notice that it did not come with a yellow while it did come with the blue and reds and browns and so a bit about the pricings I will mention links from amazon.ca and .com because I'm in Canada. I'll be also giving Canadian priced products and I'll be also referencing Dick Blick as well which is an online retailer but also it's available in America at stores. So for Amazon.ca it retails for around $28.18 which is a decent price amount of how many inks you get and the color and like how they are archival so you won't have to worry about them fading on you and on Amazon.com they are around $19.74 which is Definitely much more less than the Canadian one, but that's due to currency stuff. <laughs> and then on TikTok, like, they're around 20 90, 96. So they're in fairly they're fairly affordable depending on what your budget is. But they're definitely worth it and their colors are very pretty and very vibrant and easy to work with. So you can see in this illustration I really wanted to play with the purple a lot. <laughs> So I did use wherever I could along with the other colors. I kind of wanted to make it look like an underwater-ish scene, which is why there's some blue on her skin and the background as well. And after a while, I decided to change, instead of it being a human, I might want to make it an elf or something mythical. I want to make it an elf, so I thought that was kind of nice too. It made it look, I don't know, I liked it. So overall, I had a lot of fun with this product. Oh, one con I did only find out was you had to shake it a lot, especially the metallic ones, to get the right color and for the shininess to actually mix in with the ink. I had that little trouble with the gold but that just might be me just being picky but because other than that there wasn't really much issues at all they're nice and compact you can even take them on the go if you choose to but depends are not very uh on the go friendly sort of medium so it's always good to just try it at your workplace or in a sitting spot i have i would like to ask a little favor if it's okay as well um let me know what you think of how I do the reviews. If there's anything that you'd like me to improve on, do I not mention something? Or if I do mention too much? <laughs> or if the video is way too long? Let me know in the comments below. That would help me a lot. I'm, Even though I want to do my best, I sometimes do feel that I might not be the best at the moment, obviously, because it's actually my second review. But they're a lot of fun to do, and I do want to provide with information that will help you guys. and. In choosing what mediums to purchase.
Alright, so here I'm going to be going in with the dip pen to add some words. You know, I'm not a calligraphist. These, this might be like really cringy for those to see who are good at lettering. <laughs> I know this paper might not be completely suitable for dip pens because it's a mixed media paper which is quite textured. But it's not watercolor paper so I think it should be okay. It held up very well. I'll try not to use the dip pen too much on these type of papers because it will hurt the tip. But doing this writing part was like so fun too, I don't know. Even though it's a small thing, well not really, it's not that small, I mean typography is very important. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to just try it, try it out and just, I wrote a little cheesy quote to go with the piece. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheesy, I don't know, I like little positive notes. I've been starting to put more notes in my artwork too because I think they're important to know at least like in the nice reminders. I also decided to line the piece a little bit with the dip pen. At first I wasn't very sure about using a line art but I wanted to use the pen more. <laughs> and I think it actually unified the piece a little bit more. It made it look more easier to view and like you would know where is what. I feel like it made it more complete. Although I feel like I probably shouldn't, I didn't have to use the pen on the butterflies because those could have just stayed as kind of, they could have stayed just with the color because people would still be able to identify with what it is. And so. I'll say thank you very much for watching. I do hope this review has helped you in any way. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd want me to improve on or want to change for future videos. I am still a, a small channel, but I want to do whatever I can to improve so I can give you guys better content. A big thank you to Speedball Art for sending me this product for review as well. I appreciate it very much. And so here's the finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed this, please do like this video, subscribe if you want. It helps my channel and I appreciate it a lot. Every one, single one of you, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much once again and take care. Bye.